now, buddy. No, no, the fish looks like a brown juicer. 109 centimeters on the wake walker. Right, I'll try and do this as quick as possible and get as much in as possible to this stage. Everyone knows that the new journey was getting into the live technology. So let's dispel a couple of common myths. Will you go blind if you sit in the boat and twist your pole all day? Well, no, that's just an old wives tale. Will you get square eyes from looking at the screen all day? That's another wives tale that mum used to say when I watched too much TV. Won't happen. Is it cheating? Well, I guess you could class it as cheating. I guess you could class a good set of polarized sunglasses and sight cast and fish in clear water cheating also. You can spin it whatever way you want. You do you, I'll do me. At the end of the day, most people go fishing to catch fish. I know I do. So with that said, I'll get on to what I can share. Like I said, polarized sunglasses, this is like a digital version of polarized sunglasses where you can actually sight cast fish, sort of. Definitely sight cast fish in, if you're in the right environment. If you're in the fast water like me, people have told me you have got no hope whatsoever of using this technology in fast water. Can't say I wasn't warned, went out, scoped around, there's a fish, there's a fish, just on the pole, 24 seven, they're just moving around. Very rarely see something sitting still with this current. If you do, cast over to it, and your lure is pushed away out of the beam in no time at all. So I needed something different. I need to either travel to slow moving, or zero, nearly zero flow lakes, or I needed to come up with something different. I was at a loss, tried landscape mode, couldn't really dial it in. Knowing what I know now, I can still see fish on landscape, but I just can't quite get it dialed in. I seen a video from Steve Yarbrough. He's using down mode with the transducer flipped up to landscape mode and watching the fish come up to his lures, have a sniff, seeing which ones take, seeing which lures work, which don't, and setting up his fishing in a lake. I thought I'll try this in the river in the fast water. All of a sudden, it's familiar territory. I've got it on down mode, got the transducer flipped up. I'll put a diagram up here. So from what I'm reading, it's a 20 degree beam. 20 degrees at 20 meters gives you seven meters of water column if you tip it up on the angle. And then all of a sudden it becomes like side imaging. Something I'm so used to, been looking at it for fair few years now. Anyone who uses side imaging knows that fish show up as a silver streak and they put a shadow on the water. Works exactly the same. So this mode is familiar territory. You can see the streaks, silver streaks and the shadows. To dial it in, you've got to take it contrast right off to try and smooth out the image as much as you can. And then your sensitivity, just dial your sensitivity until the bottom isn't blown out. Dial it back until you've got a nice even color. I'm using color palette four now. Dial it back to that. As soon as there's a fish that far off the bottom, you can see a silver streak. The closer he gets to you, the more chance you've got of seeing a shadow. 20 meters forward, which is about 60 foot, maybe a bit more, 20 meters wide. So I'm seeing a patch of 20 by 20 in the river, perfect casting distance. I've only learnt this the last couple of days. I was looking at certain fish. Murray cod look like they have, because they're big paddle tail, look like they have a wrecking ball on their tail. You know, you can see their body. River fish aren't as deep, but you can see their body. But their big round paddle tail is just an absolute giveaway. Carp are more like a bullet. Even though they've got that forky tail, it doesn't read it so well, so they're more like a bullet. Murray cod have got this big ball paddle tail and they stick out. You can't read a book without learning how to read first. You can't use any of this technology without learning how to read it. 
Um, this is common ground. Doing it this way to me, I've, I can see, you know, see familiar stuff as if I'm using side imaging, but it's live. It's crazy. It is, yeah, I'm really enjoying it actually. Um, and it's working in the fast water when everyone said it's not going to work. Saying that, Murray Cod are masters of disguise. There's a little bit of footage here. He's not a very big fish. Casting a snag. Covered in weed, this snag is. Flicking it out 20 metres, bringing me lure over the end of the snag, and you'll see a fish cruise along and then disappear. And then two casts later, exactly the same spot, my lure just looked different. It looked a bit bigger. And I've seen this a thousand times before I had this technology when the water's clearer. Fish swimming underneath your surface lure, having a good look and taking off. And that's exactly what this fish did. This is stuff I've only learned in four weeks. It's basically four weeks I've learnt, you know, how to do it from going on to this mode. I will get to a lake one day and try forward mode, but if I don't have to travel too far from home to catch fish, that suits me. I do have a wish list. When you put it in this mode, hack, when this hack like this, or whatever you want to call it, it's upside down, so the water column should be at the boat and the bottom in front of you, but it's actually upside down, and it's back to front. So everything you see on the screen if the fish is, well, I don't know, if the fish is at the right of the screen, you've actually got a cast left. But if you get that pole lined right up on the fish, the transducer right in the middle, straight down the line of the handle. Right, that's it for now. Uh, leave a comment, hit subscribe if you feel like it, and, le and uh, give us a thumbs up if you feel like it. And I'll see you next time. Prepared. Apparently, this is the way it goes on. I know everyone's looking at me going, Why the hell have you got that side image and transducer there? And I'm just experimenting with it. I just like the option to have me other sounder totally separate up the back. I fish in really fast water. Most of the time, which this probably won't even work in, hopefully it'll work in landscape mode, but if I put this transducer on the back, I can see it lasting about 10 minutes, because I'm always hitting snags, backing into them mostly, because the water's so fast, I pretty much fish with the boat going backwards. This transducer on the back, I reckon I'll be ringing up the insurance company every six months and getting a new one. Oh.